Hi, welcome back to Shirley DIY Designs. And don't forget to stop by Amazon.com and pick up a copy of my children's book, The Greedy Aphids and Ellie Blackberry's Guide. See this shoe shelf I got from Walmart? I ordered it. It doesn't really have a whole lot of directions on it. It just shows you a visual picture. I think I paid about $51 for it. Well, I'm gonna take it, take it and turn it into a revolving mural, a 360 revolving mural shoe shelf. I'm gonna do a little twist to it. And this video is gonna be long and I'm sorry if you don't wanna watch the whole video through, just skip through it, please. Please don't comment in the, um, the comment box saying it's too long. Just skip through the parts that you don't wanna see. If, um, I the reason why I went ahead on and kind of put the book the shoe shelf together because it doesn't really have directions it just have a few um, pictures and it's kind of a little frustrating to put together so I wanted to share um, how I put it together so that it may help someone. So what you see me doing here now is I found that I needed my bottom shelf and to attach those to my two sides and my back. The backing is the one with the red. That's what I'm screwing the screws into now, the bottom of the shelf. So it's going to look like a bottom shelf and then three things sticking up. And... The back is the red one. It's supposed to be facing the back. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding all five uh, metal shelves. I'm not going to show putting all of five in it because this video will really be long. So I'm going to show putting a couple in. You, they put it in the same exact way. You're going to attach it to the sides and you're going to Attach it to the back, just like you see me doing here. That's the back. See that red part? That's the back of the uh, shoe shelf. And this shoe shelf do have a little draw. In the beginning, I had start putting it together. Then I said, "Wait a minute, this is a little bit frustrating. Let me show how I'm putting this together so it may help someone if they decide to make this project." So I basically started putting that together first. But make sure you got all your pieces. The reason why I say that because I was missing some of my parts. And he always explained that there is five shelves to go in the middle of this. Because your first shelf is at the very, very bottom. Which is six, but that shelf is at the very bottom. Then you're going to have five in between that and the little drawer. I paid I think well, like $51 for this shoe shelf. That's the little um drawer. And um here you see me cutting out um contact paper because the bottom of it was red I wasn't having it so I Set decided I was add some marble contact paper. So I put the dark marble contact paper on there. And you're gonna see me throughout the video put contact paper on my shelves too. Before I put them together, put them in, I went and put contact paper on them to give me a light a marble, a light marble shelf. So that I did that also. So you see me, um, that's the very back of the little, see how it look? <laughs> that's the very back of the little bit of draw. It was a little confusing putting it together because you really doesn't have directions. 
Let's just show you some pictures. It just doesn't show you everything. So I figured if maybe me showing bits and pieces of me putting it together might help someone. But if you don't want to watch this part, just skip through it. I just didn't want that red. I don't know why they chose red to put on the back. I I didn't like it, so I don't have anything red that in my room where I was really gonna put this. And the reason why I made it was one day I wanna have it in my closet. I want a huge closet. And I want to be able to just put it in the closet and have a mirror in there also. So I decided to go ahead and try making me one. And the reason why it took, it took me so long to post this is because I had to wait till they send me another one because this one was missing. The first one was missing parts to the drawer. I couldn't put the drawer completely together. So now I'm attaching the drawer up to the top. Now I went to Home Depot and I got this board. It's a thin board and I had it cut out the same length of my mirror. And I'm adding contact paper to one side of it. The reason why I'm adding marble contact paper to one side of it is because one side I'm attaching my mirror to it and the other side I'm attaching it to the, the contact part I'm attaching it to my shoe shelf and so that's part you will be able to see but the bite part that I'm putting the mirror on you won't see it so I'm not gonna put any contact paper on there so that's what you see me doing right here So once I get finished with that, I'm going to uh, take it and I'm going to turn it over onto the shelf, the shoe shelf, having the marble paper facing the part where the shoes will, you can see the shoe, where you put the shoes on. And I'm going to screw it right down to the middle of that red backing of the shoe shoe shell and that board is really small so make sure you are sending your screws through the middle part that is going to connect to that little red backing of the shoe shell and actually right here I am just making sure my contact paper is folded all the way onto the other side because I don't really want any raw edges so I Cut my contact paper enough to wrap around my board so that I can cover my edges, the size edges of my board. So that's what you see me doing here. Now I'm about to attach. See how I turned the uh, marble part facing the part, the shelves, and the bike part that is doesn't have contact paper, marble contact paper on it. I got it facing forward because I am gonna glue my mirror on there. Yes, I'm looking to see that I'm go through the, the board instead of. <laughs> instead of not going through the board because that board is really small you don't have a whole lot of play area so. 
I didn't want my board to be a heavy, thick wood board because of the Lazy Susie I'm using. This is PLA 3 Loctite. This stuff is strong. I tell you, when it dries, and it doesn't take it that long to dry, it seals and holds tight. So this is what I'm putting down for. To put my mirror on it is better than the the uh, lot type for the mirror uh, when I tell you this stuff strong and it sticks and it holds it does it's amazing and I got it from Lowe's also and you can pretty much use it on a lot of stuff here I'm spreading it out because I want to make sure that I get a good coverage for my mirror. So that's why you see me pick up a piece of wood I had to spread it out more. Because I want to get a really good seal to my mirror, to this board. And like I said, this is not a th thick board. It's a very, very thin board. And it's light. Here I'm applying my mirror to my board. I did cut out three and a half inches of my board because I wanted my mirror at the top to be a little bit tall longer because I wanted to take that three and a half inch of the part of the board and decorate it with cut glass. I'll show you that in a little bit. Right now I'm about to put books and all kind of stuff to hold out my mirror and so it can dry and this is my top base it's a thin part board it's a, the board is thin it's just like the board that I used to put the mirror on so on the top part of it I'm gonna put this marble contact paper so I'm measuring it and it doesn't matter that it's not all one piece because it's gonna the shelf is in the mirror gonna sit in the middle of it and no marble contact paper it kind of blends anyway regardless and here I made sure I had enough contact paper to go all the way over from the front to the back so I have my edges covered so I have nice clean marble edges so you want to always make sure that you have enough contact paper to go all the way over your board to the back and that's my light gray marble contact paper here's my um, lazy Susie I got them from Amazon I went head on in off camera and I took my solder gun and put a hole in one of them. See how they spin? It's been really good. They hold up to 65 pounds. And I put a hole in one of them and I put some screw holes because I have to um, screw it to my base. Now I'm using a dark marble contact paper for my base. My base is a really solid hard wood i got this was leftover wood from one of my fireplace that i made at the red one it was the shelf that came out in the middle of it because i had to take the shelves out to insert the 36 inch fireplace if you haven't watched that video please take time to go and watch it it's a real nice video how to take entertainment centers and turn them into fireplace modern fly place and here i'm applying the contact paper on the top side and i cut it so that it's wide enough to go all the way over to the back so that i can get my sides edge uncovered because i want a smooth marble finish all the way on the top and on the edges so it's going to flip over to the back and cover just like the top part of my base okay. 
this is um my base i'm gonna add the lazy susan to it with the scrolls once i get the contact paper laid down smooth And see what I mean by having enough to go all the way to the back. So I'm wiping off my back of my wood. And I'm cutting out little squares off the corner. So that I can get a smooth, even finish, lay down. Kind of like wrapping a present. Pulling it over, going to the back. This is the part that will be on the floor. But I wanted my edges to be completely finished in marble. So I left enough contact paper to reach all the way up from the top, over the sides, to the back. The Lazy Susie that I'm using, they can hold up to 65 pounds. This um, shoe shelf is not that heavy. It's um, light. The mirror is light. So I know 65 pounds will be fine. If you want to make yours more sturdy or more heavier, I mean, this is really sturdy, but you want. A stronger lazy Susie maybe you want to put more heavier stuff on your shelf that mean you need to use one of the iron lazy Susie that can hold up to five to six hundred fifty pounds Making sure my contact paper is very smooth with no air bubbles in it because I want it to stay and I want it to be coming out. I'm finished with that part. I'm flipping it over to the top and now I'm gonna screw. With a screwdriver and some screws, my lazy Susie on. Remember the hole I showed you? Well, that's how I put the screws in. I screw one in through the hole right there. See the hole? Then I turn it around and I screw another one in until I screw the screws all the way around. So I lined it up where I want it. 
and I'm just screwing down another screw right through the hole as you can see I slowed the video down so you can really see what I did yet if you decide to add the late this lazy Susie with the big um real sturdy strong plastic it's got a good bearings in it now that's my top the top is really thin remember i told you i used the same thin wood because i didn't want it to be heavy but it is still a uh, type of plywood now that's my top so um it's the thin one i'm screwing it to the bottom of the bottom shelf you have to make sure your screws are not too big that they go through your shelf your bottom shelf so i screw that on so now i'm putting peel three loctite glue which this stuff is really really strong and it holds and you can use it on basically some all kinds of stuff but i promise you if you glue it together you're never going to get it loose <laughs> so whatever you use this on um, make sure you want it to stay because it will not come off once it's sealed so now I take that and I glue it and clamp it down to my top base. And that's my bottom base. And you want to see how your bottom need to be facing you. And all your tops are facing up. So I'm using my clamps to clamp it down to hold it until it's dry. For some reason, I don't know why those orange clamps didn't want to hold. It kind of slid off. So I went and got my iron one and added them on to hold it. I just didn't even try to put it back on. And you want to make sure that this is smooth and it's even. Cause both of your bases is the same size they so you want to make sure they line up even your top base and your bottom base This mirror shoe shelf is very sturdy but light. I can lift it up and carry it and move it around. It's not too light but because the base is really heavy but it's, I can pick it up and carry it and move it my, by myself. I like that it's 360. I can turn it around to the mirror. I can turn it around to the shoes. And here, it done dried and everything. And so now I'm adding my little gems on. I'm covering up the nails. I don't know why they made it where the nails here shows. So I just took some little gems I bought from Walmart in a pack. They got a flat back. They're like a diamond little crystal. So I'm gluing them on over the to cover up the nail heads. I 
I think it'd be like 122 to fill out of them in the bag, a little bit of bag at Walmart. Um, I think they're like 197, something like that. Um, they don't cost much. I had them a while, been using them off and on. So I got my custom knob for the little drawer from Amazon. I bought a whole package of those. I'm adding some gold bling wrap I have bought from Amazon, but the gold was the more yellow gold, so I took it outside and I spray painted um, it with a metallic gold spray paint that I got from Walmart. Rustolian and I let it dry. It dried really fast, and then now it looks like a real natural gold instead of a yellow fake gold. I just like this gold a lot better. So I'm just outlining the little drawer compartment. There is a little compartment that holds the drawer. And I'm just using some E6 stop. No, I'm sorry. I'm using some um, Gorilla Glue sticks. That's what I'm using. You can use E6000 if you like. Um, the I noticed that the um, Corella Glue 6 holds really well, really tight to this um, laminate material that this shelf is made of. Also, the contact paper that holds really well too. It smooths it really down really well. Easy on this laminate. She happens doing it. I thought it just needed some bling on it because it was so boring with just all that white. So this is the little three and a half inch board that I was telling you I cut off. Um, and uh, to paint it, I'm painting it white because I want to decorate it. So actually my mirror is like right now, cause it's not on there. The mirror is, uh, doesn't have a piece of wood on the back of it in that three and a half inch area. Cause I had cut, my, well I had my husband cut it off so I can Put a little design on the top of the um, shoe shelf part. So this is the piece that I will be putting on the back of the mirror that I cut off from my board. So I'm making sure I paint the edges and the sides and so that I don't have any wall edges from painting it white. Now I'm using my decoupage. I'm gonna put a generous amount down because I'm using my cut glass. It didn't take my paint long to dry. I used a white um, Sharon Williams paint and it dried really fast. So like I said, I put a James Mono decoupage down because I'm gonna pour my glass on top of it. I'm pulling my glass on top. Let's cut glass. And um, 
I'm gonna put it outside and on my balcony. It's closed in. So if it rains, it still won't get wet. It gets really hot out there. So cut glass and deck of hot dry really fast in the heat. So after I apply this deck of the um cut glass, I got I get these little Dollar Tree plastic applicator bottles. And what I do, I fill it up with the deco pod just set for about an ounce, half, a, half an ounce. And I put like a, about a half an ounce of water in it and I shake it up to thin it out a little bit. And then that's how I seal my cut glass. So once I finish putting my cut glass down, I'm going to go over it, take that little bit of applicator bottle with the water and deco pod and do a generous amount over the top of my cut glass to seal it so it won't fall off, it'll stay on permanently. So that's the bottle I was talking about. I already put, I filled it with decapod and then I put like a half ounce of water so it'll come through because the decapod is like really thick so that just and it seals the glass really well and it leaves it very shiny I use the gloss high gloss so I'm gonna cover it really 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 well every inch of it to seal it So this is how it's gonna look. And now it's dry, and so now I'm putting my PL3 Loctite construction glue on the back. Now I see I'm putting it to the back of the mirror. Now you can see what I was talking about. I just want to get a little bit of bling. And then I have this beautiful gold and silver chai like bling wrap. I'm going to add that to it and glue that on, as you can see right here. I'm gluing that on. Now it's all finished, and I'm showing you how it looks. I've got my little purse up top with some shoes on it. My little bling knob, my little drawer. I think it came out beautiful. And turn it so you can see. Gems I add on, I spin around. Those are little gems. See how pretty that bling wrap went with it? See, 360 degrees. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed one.